Hello everybody, my name is and welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4, Kaiserreich as Russia. Let's continue on for the last thought off. So, uh, World War II has officially begun between the Commune of France and the German Empire. If we, let's like, take a look at those statistics for right now. Uh, we can see roughly 400 to 450 divisions for the Reich's Pact against only 230 roughly for the, um, for the Third International. Numbers are not looking great, I will admit. Middle Africa, Lithuania... You know, the Chinese are actually providing a large number of those troops. It's, as well as just these days. So, like, not everybody's actually in Europe itself. And we'll see if, you know, Canada or anything decides to help out the... Co or help out the Germans, I should say. But they're at war with the Japanese, so I don't really think so. Landers, Wallonia. We've nationalized the laws. We're propaganda against the commune of France. I don't care about that right now like then you know overall our country's looking significantly better than it has in the longest time so we have a few months until we can actually intervene into any type of european affair i would like to back if i had to join the war right now i would probably back the commune of france because they are significantly weaker than the german empire and if we steamroll through the germans we could probably steamroll through the to the french afterwards Without much worry. Are you actually going to break through this? I mean, it would be nice if you could do it. 91%. Apparently their supplies here are also like not great. I just can't have this guy a retreat. Because he's actually going to arrive in the province as soon as the battle is won. It's falling pretty quickly. As long as this mountaineering division does not retreat, then he'll be in the province basically instantaneously. There we go. Fantastic. So you can stop moving. You can stop moving. You know, it's not much progress, but it is some. Send in the army. Does that really do anything for us? Uh, Daily political power cost goes... I mean, it's mostly just for stability. And overall, like, could it be, it could be worse. Uh, sure, I'll take over your uh, equipment. We're currently 184, 140,000 infantry equipment short. What I'm really, what I'm hoping this does is now that um, the German front line is, at least on the eastern front, is going to be so drastically reduced that we can at least steamroll like pretty far into. Um, Pretty far into uh, the Reich's Pact. I might, again, I'm just, you know, just completely ban the Ottoman Empire. I don't care about this territory that much. I just wanted the Baku oil fields. Apparently, I can't throw them on this front. Uh, so, delete that. I guess I'm going to have them station around you. With also a fallback line here with just a handful of infantry so they can cross into Crimea as soon as the war begins. Uh, I'm going to shrink your front line down a little bit. And really overall that should be pretty good. Defensive line of course also here. Uh, I'm going to sh Okay, you go here. Shrink the, shrink the blue line down. Okay, you go there. There we go. That's at least our plan for right now. Intervene into the Second World War on behalf of the um, of the French. Destroy the Germans and then backstab the French as soon as we actually have a border with them. That's at least my hope here. Intervene in the Second World Krieg. We're not at peace, so actually I can't do shit. Never mind. Um, outdated equipment. Artillery. Upgrade that artillery too. We might as well build a hand. I don't want to show out that equipment. Thank you. We might as well start building like a handful of trucks as well. Because we're going to need that at some point. And unfortunately, like, I can't just enforce peace with this guy as much as I don't want to be at war with him. Like it doesn't do anything. Finland's apparently in the war. I don't even know how that happened. But sure. Well, what can I do? Can I just... Um... 
Yeah, they don't require me to be at peace. Intervene in the World Krieg by state bonds and by Ruthenia. Of course, Germany might, will act views as, as an act of aggression, but I'm pretty sure they're not going to try to declare war on us. I think that might be like suicidal on the Germans' part. Well, not suicidal, but it will not help them out. Because uh, are they actually winning a war against uh, the French right now? We are looking at 315,000 against 137,000. So the numbers are not looking well for the Germans at the moment. But I think they do just have significantly more manpower. And unlike, you know, when we were playing against, uh, or when I was playing as Italy here, we were, the Entente or the International is also not a war with the Austrians. The Austrians, I'm sure, will back the Germans against the, the French. But the Austrians might also maybe try to attack the Germans. I'm not too sure. We shall see, we shall see. And the Ottomans might even try to claim the Suez Canal. That might be in here somewhere, I'm really, I'm actually not too sure. But I'm pretty sure it is possible. Finland, I really wish you were not involved in this war whatsoever, like it does not matter. Uh, so we can have six divisions here. Apparently, no, I can't because I forgot how math works. So, you know, one of you can just go to the an actual front line. No, you can just stay here. That's fine. So we'll send him away. Send of you know, send away our actual troops. Oh, can we go into? Oh, we can actually go to partial mobilization. We were, on, we were on civilian economy for the entirety of the Civil War. That's pretty bad. No wonder, no wonder our situation is actually like so dreadful. I didn't know we were on civilian economy this whole time. Of course, you know, I would like to go towards the, um, you know, war economy. Obviously, that's like the best one. Is there anywhere we can really feasibly attack? Like, I would prefer most of this army to not be Russian. I mean, I'm actually going to send away, like, the entirety of the Russian parts of this army away. Uh, your finish. You send away our good troops. Or, you know, our best troops here. And I'm guessing you should all be Russian armies. You are... So, a majority of the Blue Army right now is, you know, they're not Russian, so they aren't affected by our rifle counts, I'm pretty sure? Again, I don't actually know. They still won't give me troops. Yeah, so let's have a bunch of Finns uh, just come all the way over here from uh, wherever the hell they are. And see, you know, see how well the Finns can really do in these mountain terrains. I mean, Finland, I was going to say Finland is pretty mountainous, but I'm thinking of Norway. Apparently, I have no idea what I'm thinking. You want to join my faction? You don't actually have that many paternal, uh, paternal autocrats. Disappointing, to say the least. I'm actually surprised you're allowed to join factions. I thought you were not... Oh, yeah, you're not allowed to join factions, right. Is there really no way for me to get, like, Norway or something on side? I mean, what will we do? We'll bring Finland to its knees. We'll gain cores over all this territory, but I think we already have cores. So that doesn't really do anything. It also makes uh, Germany hate us. The opinion of them changed. Again, I don't know why it's backwards. Fend Finland, doesn't matter. Build a festival port, doesn't matter. We can't even do that. 14 days for the... For this. Can't inter intervene in the World Creek as much as I would like to. I really wish I could just, like, right now, invade straight through the, uh, the Reich's Pact. I feel like that's going to be important for us. Yeah, so they're still pretty strong. Our attacks are... Pretty weak, river crossing, terrain. 
nighttime. Yeah, I mean, it's not going well. Ability goes down by 4%, not a big deal. Again, we can't be in a situation where we're just trying to drain our manpower. That doesn't help us out. And then lost some troops, Mongolia. No, I really I really do think we just kind of sit here and if the AI wants to attack into us, they can they can, but I don't see how that's really gonna help them. I really don't think this this front is never gonna resolve itself, I'm pretty sure. At least not until we get like nuclear bombs or something. I think it's just gonna be forever stalemated. Like it's like look, there is no troops at all. At all along the border with us. I mean, Austria has some troops. I, again, I don't know why the Austrians are here, actually. But. You know, it's just a bit strange. So that's actually, I'm going to go up to speed 5. Mostly because I want to um, just get the Ruthenia stuff. And get the... Um, reclaiming the lands. It is going to be part of the elite. And I'm pretty sure you're never going to feel confident attacking. I mean, we're getting some of our um, organization up. You know, I'm just going to send all of these troops that are actually Russian to Europe. Every single one of them. And just have this entire 19 uh, brigade army just be made out of uh, foreigners, basically. Have them all be ready to go. Just, you know, some of them do have some pretty high organization. Some of them are also, like, pretty high ranking. I'm assuming that's mostly just from... Um, you know, let's just request another... You know what? Okay, don't request more troops. How many troops does Finland actually have at the moment? They have six divisions. And honestly, those six divisions probably would be better served in these armies. Ah, uh, I don't care about the Commune of France right now. War support's already at 83%, so... I'm feeling pretty good about, um... Our situation. Don't want... Let's close this. Computing machine. It is almost 1940, so let's get a better research speed. Even without encryption, we really still can't see what they're actually doing. The oil must flow. That sounds like a threat against us. From Venezuela, from Mesopotamia, from the Caucasus, through the Ukraine, Georgia, the Baku Conference. But, you know, that's... Yeah, they're in a faction with me, so you can't do that. I mean, we could justify a war goal against the Germans. It'll take six days to do so. It'll take it 30 days to do so, I should say. But, of course, by doing that, we immediately are um, going to have the AI go, on, go against our borders. Which, of course, is not what I want. Yeah, and you guys are going all the way back home. Yeah, so the Finns are leaving. Understandable. Yeah, they're just, they just seem like they're too strong. Abyssinia is a clear war on Somalia. That, that, that literally doesn't matter at all. The European direction has been finished, so let us try to uh, buy State Bronze in Ruthenia. This might actually br just bring Ruthenia into our alliance. Also, I really wish I could just rename this alliance, because the Intercepts Alliance is a terrible name. Uh, for obvious reasons, I would say. Yeah, but look how nice of an easy target Germany looks right now. Like, it's it's almost begging to be annexed. And I'm actually, I'm actually hoping that the Germans can test our claims. Because absolutely, we are going to push into it. We're going to buy the state bonds. We're going to try to reclaim our lands to the west. The Ultimate for Galicia. Bulgaria is declared war on the Ottoman Empire. Which actually means the entirety of the Austrian alliance is going to be a worthy Ottoman Empire soon. An ultimatum for Galicia. Don't care about that at all. 
I don't even want to be at war with the Austrians. Like, that's, a, that's not going to help us. So Bulgaria has basically a larger army than the Ottomans have alone. Which is actually interesting to me. Maybe we do want to try to uh, secure the Straits, crush Turkey. We can also, we already just gained claims over all of Persia. I'm not saying that's, that's not really a bad option. Risa joined the Austrian Empire, Hungary, yeah, now, so now the, uh, that's going to be a very quick war. I'm pretty sure. Okay, well, it might not be quick per se, but it's going to be extremely one-sided. Like massively one-sided. Two point, like two point five million manpower against about five hundred thousand. Like it's actually not even a competition. Canada's also declared war on the Union of Britain. I, d I don't really think that's going to help you out very much, but sure. Like you're also at war with the Japanese. So the Japanese and the the British are actually on the same side. Kind of. But overall, like, the numbers are very much against the commune. Oh, the Germans actually just declared war on us. White Ruthenia and the commune of France have ended their hostilities. White Ruthenia agrees! Fantastic! And German, um... East Asia has evaded all across, uh, Italy. Oh, there's actually a lot of troops here. You're not part of my alliance. Uh, and we're going to immediately attack across the entirety of everywhere. Ukraine's not in the war yet. Who is it? I mean, it's only Germany in the war right now. The best to join the war. Sure, you can join the war as well. Everybody gets to be in the war. Are we at war with anybody else yet? No, just the Germans within Ruthenia itself. So that actually means this front line with purple doesn't even matter anymore because we can completely shift the focus there to be on this front. It really does, I, I guess. The Great Patriotic War against the German Empire. History repeated. We will you know, war with Germany. Stability goes up. War support goes up. Limit conscription is removed to extensive conscription for free. The Great Patriotic War has begun. Um, are we at war with anybody else yet? Still no. But I'm sure that will change soon. East Asia has been called into the war. So now this is a war between uh, Russia, the Commune. So okay, so this is this is how the alliance system is working out right now. I, you know, I'm actually going to end the episode here. I'll explain it at the beginning of the next episode. So thanks everybody for watching. My name is Anthony. If you enjoyed, remember to thumbs up. If you're not enjoyed, comment thumbs down. If you want to see more, subscribe and goodbye.